Hoi, I'm Azur the Electro Shark, and I like I like make shark noises and stuff. So you want to be a furry artist, right? You want to be getting commissions and stuff. You, you want to be finding folks that like you. Ah, banana. Shark. Banana. Alright, now that that's all on the table, like, uh, let me tell you a little bit about- I, I just told you everything. It's, it's done. Jeez, that's everything. Well, why, 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 why do we even need this video? I just told you everything. We're done. Alright, alright, we're good. Alright. So you want to be a furry artist, right? You want to be getting commissions and stuff. You, you want to be finding folks that like you. So you post all your stuff on Fur Affinity. You post it on DeviantArt, but for some reason, you aren't getting any traction. Well, I'm here to tell you that uh, you kind of got the right idea, but you might be missing a few things. Here's what you gotta do. It's 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 pretty simple. You should be using Twitter. And here is what else you should do. Find someone else in your niche that makes the same kind of artwork, music, whatever you want to whatever you want to be doing, find them and then follow their followers. Just every day post stuff as well, make things that interest you, but like like try and present yourself in the very best light. Don't use your Twitter as a personal thing. You want to be using it as a sort of platform for showing off the best parts of who you are. All right. So, the other part of that is, once you've built a bit of a following, because you'll be following people every day, they're, they're gonna start following you back, post your stuff as links back to Fur Affinity. It doesn't even have to be Fur Affinity. It can be any sort of social media site where you put down content. Twitter is really good for building a following and having your work be shared. For me, at least, it's worked. If Twitter does not treat you so kindly, you can go to other sites, like, I don't know, Facebook, Amino, I guess Tumblr, Tumblr is very dead, it's been dead for a long time. My point is, you really shouldn't be using Fur Affinity, you should be using something a little more social media style. Now if you do want to use Fur Affinity, just watch a bunch of people on there, comment on their work, and you'll get a sizable uh, following. The key here is consistency and giving before you take. Giving before you take is a principle. Even a follow is better than going in and just trying to get people to look at your stuff without having even popped up in front of you, uh, them. The most important thing is having people have eyes on your work. Like, every person that you follow potentially a new fan. Especially if you're focusing on finding people in your specific niche. Another important thing if you're going to be doing this in the furry fandom, find a great artist, or be a great artist, but mainly get some really good artwork of your character. Because people's first impression is going to be your profile picture, your branding. It's very important to have instant appeal that speaks to what you're going to be doing, or at least makes people gasp in awe about your character's design. That's important because you're trying to, I guess, be perceived as someone that really cares about what you're doing. Because honestly, if you're doing this, you, sh you should believe in yourself. It's something you can do. And here's another thing, I mean... It doesn't have to be for the furry fandom. You you can take this advice and apply it across generally anything that you take on that takes an entrepreneurial mindset. Have strong branding. Use Twitter, connect with people, give before taking. These sorts of things apply to everything you could ever do.